just to start off with being able to represent your country is the greatest honor. Um, it's been the greatest honor of my life for sure. Um, but to win um, four straight was huge. Um, you know, we're starting off a new quad after coming off of a gold medal win in 2018 after a 20 year drought. So uh, it was huge to keep the momentum going um, and to start this quad off on the right direction in, you know, in hopes of you know, coming away in 2022 with a gold medal. A lot of it has to do with starting of the development of our younger players. Um, USA Hockey has definitely transitioned the way that they've developed young players, and um, I think it's it's impacted the you know our program. And um, you know we we were always chasing for a long time, and it finally feels like everyone's chasing us now, and it's a great feeling. You know, it was always my dream to win a gold medal. Um, and I didn't realize what my purpose was or what, what the purpose of winning besides being on top was. And coming back home in the United States and seeing the impact winning a gold medal has had on other people, uh, just to see how many um, young players, specifically girls, it has impacted um, is huge. Uh, so many people have picked up skates and have interest in hockey because of that win. I've been able to be out on the ice with the LA Lions and the Lady Ducks uh, here in California. Um, and I, I reported right back to Annie and Kayla. I said, there are so many girls playing hockey in California. I'm blown away. Um, you never, I never realized it. Um, I was like, shame on me. There are so many girls and, and I'm not surprised. I mean, we had two players in the Olympic cycle for our, our team. The growth is tremendous. Girls hockey is soaring out here in California, no pun intended. Um, and it's awesome to see. That was a huge stance that we took uh, last year. It wasn't easy, um, it was needed, but it was difficult. It was a moment in time when you know, we were willing to risk it all uh, for the growth of the game. Um, we were able to come to agreement, but I think we've learned since then that there's a lot more fighting that needs to happen. Uh, we're not satisfied um, and we need to continue to push and to grow the game so that it's better for those that come after us. And it was a big piece of our success was the support that we received from other people, from other athletes, men and women, you know, congressmen, just an array of people supporting us and it helped us because we were willing to not play at the World Championships. For some players, that was their first. For me, it was my sixth. You know, it, it was, everyone was in a different position, but we knew we were, we were part of something bigger than ourselves and, um, you know, it was the right time. Well, I think if you would ask others, they, they would say it wasn't the sport for me and it wasn't the right time. Um, I was often called a tomboy, told to go play soccer and volleyball like the other girls. And even though Chicago is a cold climate and hockey is huge now um, because of the Blackhawks' recent success, um, it wasn't a sport for girls. Um, people didn't accept me for who I was, often got bullied in school for it, um, but I just loved it. I loved to go fast. I love to be on the ice. I loved my, my best friends were always in the rink. Um, and I started playing because of my older brother. And um, I just wanted to be like him. And my parents actually got me figure skates um, because that's what girls were doing over 20 years ago. And after a week in them, I, I cried. And I said, I want to be like him. I want to do what he does. And they got me hockey skates. And I obviously haven't looked back since. <laughs> Besides my parents, obviously, just seeing how hard they work day in and day out, um, you know, really helped me and helped me shape, helped shape me into the person I am today. But um, hockey-wise, Kami Granato was my idol. Um, I held her gold medal when I was seven, and that's when I turned to my parents. I said, I want to go to the Olympics. Um, the first time I realized girls, other girls play hockey, or what girls hockey is. Um, and then being from Chicago, uh, I always idolized Chris Chelios. Um, you know, he was, he was a legend, he still is, and um, he was my favorite player um, growing up. You know, I went to Cami Granado's camp when I was six and seven. Um, and like I told you, I held her gold medal. And I remember that feeling um, as a little girl, uh, being, you know, just so empowered to chase something. I didn't know where it would take me. Um, and so if I have any kind of power to be able to share that with others now, um, that's kind of why I started my hockey camp. Um, and it's just so awesome. There were over 100 girls last summer. Um, it was so much fun and I just want to be accessible to the girls, whether it's, whether it's them asking what my favorite food is to asking them how did I get on the Olympic team. Um, it's just answering those questions, being there for them and uh, just being a, as much of a positive role model as I can be. 
It's the best team I've been on. It's been the team of marriage, and um, you know we're each other's biggest fans in sport, but most importantly in life. And um, you know it's been awesome to be out here in, in the Orange County area. Um, he's having a great time, and we're just happy to be together because it's been a while. <laughs>